Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with my next video. In this one, I'm showing an extremely close attack I had in this uh, current war that we're in. I'll go ahead and show it in a moment, moment, but it's probably one of the closest Town Hall 10 three stars I've had as a Town Hall 10, and if not the closest, because it came down to the very end, the last few troops. Uh, so we'll take a look at it in a moment. It's a fun attack. I wanted to show it today because I'm going to have a, another longer video coming out tonight. So I want to you know, try to do two videos when I can, especially on the weekend. Uh, but first, for my regular viewers, just two quick announcements. As far as the Clan Drifter series goes, I'm doing my best to continue that. I know it's been a long time since the first video came out. And uh, the problem is I've emailed a few people who don't respond. Um, other people are... Uh, busy or the clan isn't quite ready for for whatever reason and they want to reschedule which is completely fine I get it and uh, it's just been a little bit tricky to arrange some uh, a Time for me to come in and record some of the attacks So it's harder than you guys might think but I'm doing my best and hopefully this weekend I can contact a clan and uh, get in and record some attacks have the clan drifter series out tomorrow or Monday uh, so we'll see about that, but just Know that I'm doing my best to get that series continued because I know that's something that you guys voted for and that you want to see on the channel. Uh, so keep checking your email also if you applied because that's one issue is, like I said, some people aren't responding uh, for whatever reason. But anyway, uh, the next announcement really quick, as far as the Clan War mini tips go, uh, I know that when I first started doing them, I could do one per day in addition to the uh, video that, like the main video I did each day. But the only problem is that now I've done, you know, 30 plus of them, and uh, I'm running out of things to do them on, to be honest. Uh, there's only so many th certain things in the game I can uh, have the mini tip on without it being repetitive or, you know, just boring, not helpful stuff that's too obvious. So I want to keep them uh, to the point where I only make a video if I have something that's meaningful to say that I think will actually help you guys. So I'm not going to waste your time just to have one each day, which is why you might have seen I'm only doing them... Uh, every few days so I'll do my best when I have one to get it out there and uh, hopefully get a second video that same day because the mini tip is pretty short but just uh, wanted to let you guys know why the mini tips haven't been coming out uh, as much because of the update we'll probably see some more uh, as far as how to use the new troops and stuff still figuring that out so I'll have some mini tips on that but I just wanted to let you guys know uh, kind of the state of the mini tip series as well as the Clan Drifter series. So anyway, that's that for those two. Uh, let's go ahead and get into this attack because it was a crazy one. Came down to the wire, and uh, as you can see at the bottom here, I'm doing two walks. I'm doing a queen walk with four of those healers, and then a bowler walk with three of them. And remember that the bowlers do, or the healers do twice as much heal to a regular troop, because uh, it's a 50% reduction on heroes. So three healers is always, pretty much always going to be good for your bowlers. You typically don't need four, and uh, you don't usually need any rages either. Um, so the queen walk is successful at the bottom here. Drop down a Valk, funnel her uh, the way I want her to go. She gets pretty good value there. Uh, the only problem with the bowlers is how much they spread out. That's an issue I've noticed. Right here they clump back together, but um, I wall breaker them in, and then a few of them go to the top, and a few of them actually go inside the base which spreads them out, they start getting picked off one by one. So the only problem with the bowlers is keeping them together, and uh, that's something I still have to figure out. But I went ahead and load out the CC with a hog. Uh, because there's no defenses on the queen, she doesn't need the ability or the rage. She can just shoot down the dragon, and uh, the poisons help a lot as well. Anyway though, the funnel is pretty much already created because of the two walks I did. But anyway, uh, so uh, the fun <laughs> sorry, I'm losing my words. The funnel was already created, so just dropped the Valks down, they went straight into the base. I actually have three rages, because I thought I would need one for my queen, which I actually didn't. So because of that, I have an extra rage, and I can just keep these Valks raged through the entire core. I heal them in the middle there, and then uh, right at the end, there's still quite a few Valks left up. So drop that third rage on them, they're just going to tear through this base. Uh, probably a second heal would have been better than that rage, and uh, I also probably didn't even need that jump because they would have beat through the wall on their own. So I really could have uh, invested some more spells into them had I planned it out a little bit better. But anyway, uh, it is what it is, and my Valks are going down pretty quickly. Right here, the King's going to tank for a little while, and that Wizard will do some damage on that Cannon, which will be important later, because the Cannon is at very low health right now. But all I have left is the Queen and one of her healers, because the other healer 
uh, or the other healers went down to an air defense. So she's going to get pretty low right here, and that Tesla is going to get on her, which is too much for the healer to keep up with. So it's just her and uh, one minion, but I pop her ability, let her into the base, and then a second too late, that minion goes in, takes out the cannon before it does too much damage to my queen, and the queen takes out the Tesla before it takes her out. So it looks like she's going to survive. Uh, the minion hits the air trap, but then the giant bomb goes off, so all that's left is the archers from the ability. Somehow they're in that little compartment up top that it survived, and uh, right here they actually have to go through another wall to get to that elixir storage, uh, but the Valks had it pretty much already down because they I dropped the jump late so the Valks were on the wall for a second or two so anyway luckily they're able to get through here take out that elixir storage it was so close um, probably about 10 seconds left so it wasn't time wise it wasn't extremely close but uh, just that giant bomb going off at the end I thought I might be done because they had to still go through a wall but luckily they picked a wall that the Valks had already taken out for the most part so yeah it was a crazy attack uh, definitely a fun one and I think the lesson, if anything, is that uh, you don't always need a jump. I think if you watch the attack again, where I dropped the jump, the Valks were going to beat through that wall anyway. So uh, sometimes just let, let them go and bring more rages and heals. But anyway, th uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And uh, like I said, should have the Clan Drifter video coming out soon, assuming everything goes to plan, and I can get in one of the clans in the next few days. So yeah, stay tuned for that. I'll see you guys later. Bisectatron out.